Hi, I'm Elizabeth Catt, and I am excited to be your student's chemistry teacher this year. I'm going to take a little bit of time to tell you about our course, how grades work in our class, um, where you can find things and where your students can find things in our campus page, how students can be successful, and how you and your student can get a hold of me and contact me this year. Chemistry One is an inquiry-based student-centered class. We focus on the macroscopic, particulate, and symbolic representations of the things that we study in chemistry. We've had a great, exciting year so far, and we're excited to get more hands-on learning experiences with our students this year. In our course, um, all graded assignments are going to be assessed using a holistic mastery rubric, um, and you can see that here. Um, students will get a letter grade that is then um, entered in PowerSchool using the percentages that you see here. Using this type of a rubric instead of a traditional points or percentage-based system gives our students some more leeway in terms of their learning. What I mean by that is some small errors um, in content or understanding are not going to be super detrimental to students overall. We are looking to give credit to students where they know things. We're not looking to um, find every single little mistake and nitpick things. Um, overall, our students are going to have their semester grades be from 80% from their unit tests and 15% from quizzes and classwork. Reassessments will be offered on unit tests, and these will happen during a reassessment window after those unit tests are graded and returned. Typically, that'll be about two weeks after um, the tests have been returned. In order for students to qualify for a reassessment, they need to have given an authentic attempt on their original assessment, they've completed their practice for the unit, and they've done some sort of relearning task to help them prepare to do better on this reassessment. That might look like corrections, scheduling a time in SRT to meet with your teacher or a student peer tutor, um, maybe completing additional practice. Um, all of these things are not meant to deter students from reassessing, but instead to help them truly master the content so that they can perform better on that additional attempt. Here's a little quick overview of what our Canvas homepage looks like. Um, on here, we're going to spend most of our time in the learning modules because that's where our course content is going to be. Um, class resources are going to have copies of digital um, files for the things students get in class. And then contact me is where you can find the information on how to best reach me. The way that our Canvas pages will be set up is that we'll have an agenda module at the top that will give by unit um, what's happening in class. This is a link to a Google Doc that is updated as needed, and that'll always be where students can find what's happening in class. If they're looking ahead or if they're out for some reason, they can go there. And then following that agenda module will be our content module. This will be the things we're doing in class day to day. Um, this will include activities, videos, assignments, and those will be updated and posted as we get to each unit. Um, I always make sure to put our most recent topic at the top right underneath that agenda so it's easy for students to access. Finally, for our students, um, here's some tips that can help them to be successful in class this year. The more engaged and active they are in class, the better results students are going to see. Um, we do a lot of work in groups with our tables, um, have discussions in small groups and larger groups, um, and the more active your student can be in those discussions and in figuring things out, the better they're going to um, feel, the more confident, and um, hopefully the better they're going to perform on those assessments. Um, students should really stay on top of their practice tasks, whether that's things we do in class or it's assigned outside of class. Um, and making sure that they're asking questions on those as they have them, not at the very last minute. If things don't go well, keep trying. Make corrections, ask questions, um, and be ready to try again. Students should take advantage of those reassessment opportunities at the end of each unit, and then also reaching out to me to let me know how I can help, um, whether that's in class, in SRT, scheduling a time with a peer tutor, all these are great ways students can utilize these extra supports um, to have a great experience in chemistry. 
finally, um, here's my contact information. Email is usually the best way to get a hold of me. Um, and I really encourage you to um, ask your student to be the one to reach out to me with their questions. Give them some, um, some skills and some self-advocacy um, as they're progressing through their experience as a student. Um, if you want to schedule a phone call or a video conference with me, those need to be scheduled at least um, 24 hours in advance. And um, I am a mom of two small boys outside of my job as a teacher, and I try very hard to spend my time at home with them. And because of that, I will be checking and responding to messages during school hours, um, not at home and at night or on the weekends, um, but I try my best to get back to you within 24 hours. Um, anything that happens over the weekend, I'll get back to on a Monday. Um, but I appreciate your respect of my time with my family outside of school hours. Um, please feel free to reach out to me with any questions you may have. Um, and I'm very excited for a great year in chemistry, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.